So I just wanted to make a short video about the FAS uh, hook-in. Um, to a, it's it's on, this is on an LLY uh, Duramax. My truck year is 2004 and a half. So, um, the main question I had was whether or not you had to. I know some people do um, to replace the suction tube. I haven't had any problems with the quarter tank issue. I'm running the the Edge Juice with Attitude. Uh, on mine, and I haven't had any problems with it, even on level five. <clears throat> and uh, anyway, so this, so you don't have to drop the tank to get this hooked in. Um, all you have to do is you is you hook in to the the suction right here, and then this other one back behind it, back that way. That's the pressure and. And yeah, um, and then you have to run power to the pump, and it will pump. But um, so yeah, here's the pump. That right up there is the return to the to the uh, the tank um, fuel tank. The that little hose, this one right here, it's uh, it's a breather for when you fill the tank up. Some of the trucks have an insert in them, um, and I guess they have trouble filling up sometimes after you make the change there, but I've never had trouble. I can fill it up as fast as it'll take fuel. So, and I, they say to uh, mount to that, the bed bolt right here, but, um, and I did that, but it was still kind of, kind of wiggly a little bit. You can see it even now. It's it's kind of if I hold this on the frame, see it moves just a hair, but it moved a lot more uh, before I I bolted up that second bolt right there, so that um, really made it a lot more stable. So I I would definitely recommend doing that. So um, anyway, it hangs down just a hair, and yeah. You can get your pump hooked up and go have fun.